My brother, when he was uh, in military, when he was in some places, uh, I think there is uh, in the church, around 30 or 40 people are in the church, and suddenly the police, the military come and they took all the Christians to jail. They put on the container, 30 or 40 people are put in on the one container, in the daytime, it is very hot. In the night time, it's very cold. It is uncomfortable to live uh, on that uh, place. So he, uh, he suffered a lot, a lot. For 13 years, he was in, in, in prison. After he released, uh, he go back to our home. There is no any support to him. He spent 13 years in the prison. He is uh, at 35 now. There is no any job. There is no education. There is no, there is nothing to His mind. Change it the way he speaks. The way he he lives in the house it comes changing, changing, changing. Every day change. Sometimes sometimes they go to the kitchen. They dist all the uh, they distract all the uh, kitchen, and they return back. He sleeps the whole day. There is some depression or some stress. They will do uh, unnormal things in the house. So we we take him to hospital, psychiatry hospital. Uh, they check it. They stay it in the psychiatrist for one week, and they gave him a medicine for him to take on the home. He will take, but he didn't. Okay. Nowadays he is very in a bad condition. The organizations or personally, they help it when they are in jail. When they are in jail, they support food, they give uh, support for their family, for uh, what they need in the jail. But there is a forgotten thing. When they go out from the uh, jail, they, they don't have uh, any support for them.